And there's the view of the Progress vehicle as it uh, continues uh, to methodically make its path to the International Space Station. Station Moscow and Space Station 1. Portoro. To uh, provide some uh, situational awareness, uh, again, from this uh, engineering overlay on the crosshair camera on the progress in the lower left-hand quadrant, uh, you can see uh, 1.04, that's the kilometers, that's the distance right now between the progress and the International Space Station. The value that's underneath it, minus 3.47 meters per second, that's the rate of closure, uh, the range rate, if you will, uh, how quickly uh, the progress is closing in on the station. We're getting video, and we see you working through different uh, AGC modes. We're going to select this one for now, because that's the best image that we could find. It. Can I disable operation mode? Your go for that. Operation mode disabled. Progress visible against the limb of the Earth. And in this view from the high definition external viewer camera or HDEV on the International Space Station, an outstanding view of the progress as it uh, continues its uh, inexorable approach for an automated docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module. The uh, vehicle in the top right hand quadrant. That is uh, the Soyuz MSO-4 vehicle that will be the ride home for Peggy Witz and Jack Fisher and Fyodor Yurchikin on September 3rd. In the lower left-hand quadrant is the Progress 66 vehicle that is currently docked to the Piers docking compartment. We have bit one and seven in the sea word line. Copy. We're up to 0.81. For closing rate. Right now we're at 150 meters based on the Ranger. We're currently handing over between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll reacquire our downlink TV signal from uh, the progress and the station, and there it is. Just a momentary loss of signal. A good view of the aft port of the Zvezda service module at the bottom of the uh, circular docking port is uh, that uh, crosshair docking target that the Progress's core's automated rendezvous system will hone in on uh, to match the overlay against that docking target and the precise alignment for contact and capture. Docking is scheduled about ten and a half minutes from now. Oh, yeah, we recovered a video as well. 11 meters, the target is almost in the middle of the electronic crosshairs. The first bit is one. Your cheek in uh, providing a running commentary to the Russian flight control team. They're seeing the same data he is inside the Zvezda service module. Standing by for contact. Just eight meters separating the progress and the International Space Station as we stand by for contact and capture. Back in the middle of the electronic crosshairs, zero decimal, 12 meters per second range rate. Getting closer to four squares for the overlay. Standing by for contact at zero decimal, 13 meter per second range rate. Crosshairs are completely aligned. Contact confirmed. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. Docking has been confirmed at 6.37 a.m. Central Time. Thank you very much for a reliable vehicle.